Hello, hello. It is Wednesday early evening. I just wanted to do a quick check-in um, to let you know how things are going with my posh Um I'm exhausted, but it has nothing to do with the posh airment, just the teaching and busyness right now. I'm sure we're all feeling it. Anyway, um, so a couple updates. Uh, I'm recognizing and noticing a lot of things that I that weren't shocking that I pretty much thought I would see. Um, I'm not going to share today any of the like actual data data like number kind of things. I'll do that at the end of the week. What I plan to do is tell you my, how many um, like my increase in followers, um, how many people I followed for the week. And then I'm also going to share how many people shared my closet, even though I wasn't sharing at all and then how many likes I got. So I'll, I'll give those uh, statistics at the end of the week. And then I plan to compare all of those numbers week by week to see the differences in them. Um, the most obvious thing, which isn't shocking, is that my followers have completely increased. Like, that's a no brainer. Um, another thing that I noticed this week without, I mean, I could pull up data, but it's pretty obvious is anyone who's sharing my closet right now Remember, I'm not sharing anyone at all, but anyone who like follows me and goes and shares my closet, um, the items that they're choosing to share are right straight off the top of my closet. Uh, and that I already kind of had an idea, but it just goes to prove that um, there's a lot of people who are just going right directly into your closet. And that means that that first layer of your closet, the first thing you see, it's super important. Um, that you have items that you want people to see right away, some of the items that you really feel like you're gonna sell right away. Um, because honestly, anything that's been liked or shared is straight out of the top of my closet, those first 10 items. Um, so another piece of information that just kind of like something that caught my eye throughout the couple of days that I've been doing this. Uh, I just wanted to address, I had some really great comments and I want you guys to comment. If there's anything you want me to consider as I'm doing this experiment or wondering if I'm doing, um, let me know. Or anything that you're like, hey, that's gonna skew the data. I wanna know that. Like, it's gonna help me figure out more information. One of the things that um, someone posted in my last video, which was awesome, is like, oh, this is only a small percentage of you know, the reaction you're gonna get back in your closet. You have to also factor in um, the time of the month. Like if someone's like beginning of the month, people are paying out all their bills that time, it's sales are slower. So I agree. I think there's definitely um, a lot of other factors that play into the month of and what happens in your closet. Uh, my goal is just to see when your reaction or how you play with your own closet the reaction that you get from that. So I'm just kind of looking at that part of it, but I agree that there's a lot of other factors. Another person commented as well, um, which is so, again, so true. It matters what kind of items you house in your closet. And as you list them, you know, what kind of items are you housing? Is it seasonal? Is it fall? It might not sell right away. Um, just a little bit of background. My closet has right now, every single season, winter, summer, fall, and um, all different price points. Like I have kind of like those mall brands and then I have a little bit of Tory Burch and some other different things. So, um, and then I also have home items like hand upcycled craft items. So it's kind of like a wide gamut of different things to pick from. But yes, I definitely agree that those factors make also make a difference in your closet. So I am definitely just kind of addressing like my, how I treat my closet and how it reacts back to me, kind of looking at it as a fun game. Um, another thing that was brought up, which is a great point. So the first week I'm just following people and that's it. I'm looking at what's happening in my closet when I straight out follow. Second week, I'm just sharing other people's closets, not my own, just sharing everybody else's. Third week, I am sharing only my closet. And then the fourth week, I am listing, 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 and that is it. So I'm taking data from all of those weeks, looking at it as a week, and then cross comparing it at the end is my goal. Um, but one of the comments is like, hey, well, if you're following everyone that first week, like, isn't that gonna increase your followers? And so it's gonna make everything else better. Um, I agree. I mean, obviously, the more people you have, the better reaction you're going to get. So that's true. But one thing I decided to do, um, so I'm just going to follow, follow, follow up until Friday. 
And then instead of um, following on Saturday, Sunday, I'm gonna have no activity in my closet. Like just kind of let it mellow and do its own thing. And then on Monday, when I start up sharing, there was kind of a lull in between it. I, it's not a huge one, but enough that it's like a break off point. So it doesn't skew it. Like it's not like I'm following, following, then I'm sharing their closets and everything blows up. I'm just going straight into the sharing part. Hope that makes sense. Hope it helps a little bit just to kind of like separate those different activities and see how people react with them. Um, okay, well, I will share out at the end of the week, probably probably Saturday, Friday, I'm gonna just like get everything in order. Um, Saturday or Sunday, I'll share out how the following week went. Leave comments, um, let me know what you think is gonna happen. Zero sales so, so far, not surprising. Um, and likes on the top items in my closet like that are listed at the top but i'll keep you posted if you have any questions comments or suggestions things you want me to make sure i'm doing throughout these weeks let me know i'm learning from you guys too bye hello it's the end of week one posh airment so i wanted to give everyone an update for how everything kind of laid out for just following people only if you haven't been following my posh airment Week one, I'm strictly following people. Week two, I'm going to share others' closets. That's it. Week three, I'm only sharing my closet. And week four, I'm only listing. So my goal is to find out when I play in my closet what the reaction back is. So I wanted to share the stats for this week. Okay, so let's look at the most obvious thing that happened. So... The most obvious thing that happened in my closet was my followers increased. I followed 8,600 people. In return, 2,298 followed me back. I was actually kind of surprised. I felt like that was a low amount. That's 27% 27 people followed me back. But one of the things that I think happened is I followed everybody. New closet. Um, I followed people by brands, people, followers of followers. I went crazy. Well, obviously I didn't follow like such a huge amount of number, but that really has to do with my schedule. Um, remember, keep in mind that I'm only doing these activities before I teach and after I teach, was, which is a sliver of time in the morning and a sliver of time in the evening. So it's not a huge amount of time. But anyway, so I think because I was following everyone I possibly could, I didn't get everyone following me back in return or a high turnover rate. I think that if I was strategic in who I followed and I was careful that I'm following active people, then they would return that following back. But I have a feeling a lot of those new followers were just random people who are checking out Poshmark and don't even know how to follow back yet. So one thing I definitely learned was I think it is important to not just follow everyone. I think you do need to be strategic in making sure that those people are active. Let's look at some other data. Okay, let's talk about people who shared my closet, even though I did not share anyone's closet this week. There were 841 shares total. Again, remember, I have less time to spend in my closet, so this might be significantly higher for you if you're spending the whole day just sharing. Out of those 841, 75% of those were the sharing the top 20 items in my closet, which means if you just open up my closet, the 20 items that you first see. That's a pretty large number. And what that's telling me is, again, I'm going to be very purposeful in what I choose to lay out in my closet. So if there's something specific that I want people to see, I'm going to make sure that it's in the top of my closet. And I'm just going to say that basically it's your first impression, kind of like when you walk into a store. So this week actually proved a theory that I actually had before. And then 20, the other 25% of shares were completely random items. Um, an item, one of the things I did notice, like a beaded purse that very rarely gets shared. One person shared it and that kind of triggered like three, no, actually it was four others to share that item. So I definitely saw that if someone's sharing something, other people's, other people are sharing that as well. 
But most importantly, when it comes to shares, is the fact that I discovered something I already knew was that first impression is super important for your closet. Okay, so let's talk about sales and likes. Wah, wah, wah. Zero sales. Not shocking to me. I was kind of secretly hoping I'd at least make one sale this week, but nothing. I had 35 likes, which to me is very low. And um, as the weeks go on, we'll use numbers to compare and see what increases those likes. This part of it kind of threw me off. So 29% of my likes were from my top 20 items. Those top 20 that are the first thing you see. And 71% of them were random other things in my closet. So I'm trying to wrap my brain around why it wasn't, even though like such a significant amount of the shares were from the top 20 in my closet, those likes were not. Maybe my top 20 aren't as great as I think and they're just garbage. <laughs> I don't know. So I'm trying to figure that part of it out. But here's the stats. And it definitely proves to me, like if you're just following people, you're, you're getting some activity in your closet, but you're not going to get sales. Not shocking again. I do look forward to the next three weeks playing out and cross comparing this information. But let's do a quick recap of what we've learned. So let me recap what I learned this week in my month log posturement. One of the things is you definitely need to follow others. However, be very strategic in who you're following. I want to encourage you to look back at the post I did previous to this, simply saying who I'm following in Posh. A lot of Instagrammer friends posted some ways that they're following people and they're getting results back. So it gives some really great tips. The second thing I learned is that you need to be really careful in what you are posting and the order of your posting for your closet. As you list, continue to keep those top 20 items fresh, things you wanna sell, things that you think are gonna pull people in. Because what I discovered is they really, really mattered. A large amount of people shared just those top 20 items. So I will definitely be careful and strategic in how I place my closet. So next week, I'm going to straight out share. If you have any comments or questions about sharing closets, definitely do that. I'd love to hear your feedback. I, def I will not be sharing my PFFs because I know that my PFFs, who I already um, are friends with, would share my closet right back. And I kind of want to take that out. I love them, but I'm only going to be sharing closets of people that I don't know I plan to share out people that are already followers of mine. And then I also plan to share out um, people who are in uh, parties, posh parties and stuff like that. So the only people I will not be sharing as much as I love them are my PFFs because I don't want to distort the information. If you have any questions or comments, I would love to hear it. Thanks for following. I hope you enjoyed this video. Be sure to like, subscribe to my channel. You can also find me on Instagram under Ethical Fashion Closet and visit my closet at Poshmark at Ethical Closet. Thanks for watching.